Hello Zany friends, I am Lainey. And I am Marshall. And today we have our February collection. We have a couple new scents and then we have the other collection from our previous library of scents that we are bringing for the month of February. So, if you're ready for some new art and new scents, keep watching. Yes. Mm. So this month we have our first one is the ones we're bringing back, right? So in this month we have the Disney Contemporary Collection. So we have three different Disney collections and this one is more recent movies, uh, things that are not considered classics. They might be classics in your library, but yes. they're not old classics. Older classics, exactly. So these are things that are have been like probably late 90s to now. Let's go ahead and look at the ones that we have already redone the art on because mm -hmm. those are pretty easy to talk about. Yeah. <laughs> pretty fast. Everything in this collection with the exception of two are only come in sprays and the sprays are $8 on the site for a two ounce of bottle. We have Malfari, which is based off of Maleficent. And this one smells of blackberries, apples, and sage and features Ravenna as Maleficent. One of my favorite scents. This is To The Moon and Back. This is Pink Candy, Cotton Candy, and Rock Candy. This was made by Meg Blackett. I think Malfari was made by Zelma yes. uh, Cromney. And uh, this is based off of Inside Out. Bing Great. Bong. Bing Bong. There you go. I'm dropping things. And then we have a friend trip, which is Apricots and Cotton Candy that is based on Toy Story. Still need to see Toy Story 4. Just came out and will be coming out in DVD soonish on Disney. Yeah. We're waiting for Disney Plus on that one also, because we can. And this one has Hershey as Buzz Lightyear. The next scent in this collection is based on the movie Tangled, Rapunzel, and it is called Out My Window. So this one is designed to smell like cookies, chocolate, and raspberries, and it has jelly as Rapunzel, along with her little floating lanterns. Mm -hmm. We well, can get this in the spray, and this month you can also get it in the car scent, which, yes, we say car scent, but this thing is actually very, very useful. These are $3. They are kind of like a almost silicone feel to it in the shape of a pineapple. This one smells delish so yeah. not only can you use this for a car set but i've had people say that they use it in their drawers to make their clothes smell nice hanging in your closet one of the things that i do is i have it hanging on my desk downstairs in our office area and every time i come by i'm like mm, that smells nice so you can get the same sense as a wax without having to burn anything which is great and let me also put this to you i had to make a delivery to somebody of a couple of these and I knew that they were going to be around in a couple hours, so I just shoved them in their plastic packages in my pocket and could smell them the entire time. Mm. So, you know, or you could just shove it on a keychain. Yes, you could. Now, they do last about a month, I've noticed. Uh, so if you, if you get them, take them out of the package, it will be good probably for about a month and it will start to lose its scent. But that's fine. They're very cheap, so you can buy more than one and then you can have it for months at a time. And they also look kind of nice, so you can, you know, use them as decorations. Put them on your Christmas tree. Ooh, that's a good idea also. Yes. And the last scent in this collection is a huge favorite. People love this. And as such, it is available five different ways. And this is Horologist. Mm -hmm. The scent notes are strawberry, citrus, and pomegranate. There is new art for this, which is another reason why we're mm -hmm. putting it in a bunch of different ways, but go yeah. ahead. Uh, in this, we are featuring Jamie as uh, Jack Sparrow, along with their stuffed animal friend. Colada is dressed up as Karina Smythe. Smith. Karina Smith. Yes, it's spelled Smythe. So what he's talking about is that we have human mascots and we have animal mascots. And what he's saying is each one kind of has their own counterpart mm -hmm. of the other. And when it comes to Jamie and Colada, uh, so Jamie is one of our newer mascots. He's new. So, I mean, Colada has been around a lot longer, but Colada finally has her, yeah. her friend. Yeah. I mean, each one of these, it's kind of more based off of their personality, which one mm -hmm. complements them properly. So like I said, you can get it in a spray. That is $8. You can also get it in the car scent, which I'm stealing this one for our car because it's amazing. So again, this one is $3. You can also get it in a scrub, which is awesome for your face, uh, your hands. I've actually had someone tell me that it works really well on their hair and it moisturizes their hair in a way that they never expected it to, especially because there are like 
you know, there's sugar in it. So you would think, okay, would this dry your hair out? It does not, apparently. So it's because wow. of a lot of the different kinds of oils and the combination of oils that we mm -hmm. have, they do penetrate into the scale, into the cells and they hydrate them down. Exactly. So this is a this is ten dollars. And then we have our wax. So we have two different ways you can get the wax. You can either get the scent cup of our new portion <laughs> new cups. portion cups this is uh three dollars or you can get a candle this is an eight ounce candle again stealing this one <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but there she is also a, really loves horologist i i really do like horologist a lot this was actually created by lisa i forgot to say that lisa created the scent originally i i love it i know that there are a lot of people who are our reps who buy this like every time it comes out but i'm really excited to have it in the candle these candles probably last about two to three weeks of burning if you burn it like every day for a couple hours. And what you really need to be aware of is that this is our Disney Contemporary Collection, which is only going to be available for this month. Exactly. So if you love this scent as much as we think you do, now's the time to get it. Because get a lot of it. In March, it's going to be gone. Yeah. It's going to be gone. These are on sale right now because it's February. All right. Now we're going to dive into our new, 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 totally new products. Yes. Yes. So the next kind of collection, I'm going to call this a mini collection because we're just starting this collection. We've never had this before yeah. as a collection and we decided, okay, we need this. Um, we put into our Facebook group some create a sense. We had one that won a vote in our group and we had one that the moment it came in, Marshall and I were like, I want to do this. We're doing this and it doesn't matter if it wins a vote because we're doing it. So we, are, we have actually two create a sense this month. Well, actually we have three but we have two creative sense for this collection and it is the new dc collection we've had marvel we have like six or seven cents in the marvel collection yeah. and we were like why are we not using why do we not have a dc collection exactly well i mean because very few people actually want to smell like kryptonite true but we have much better things from the dc universe to smell we like. do so the first one is a scent that is created by stephanie and it is based on the flash and it is called infinite infinite smells like vanilla cherry cola and milkshake so it's it's got all those different kinds of energy and it's got like a, a fun to it which mm -hmm. is very rep reminiscent of the show it yes. is fun and wholesome superhero. Yes. And I actually really do like the show, but we haven't finished it yet. We we got stuck about a season or two ago and just haven't had time to keep watching it. So I think maybe a priority in 2020, we're going to try to finish this show, but yeah. I like it. Yeah. Yeah. The artwork that we have here is Hershey as the Flash. And I, I had so much fun building together yeah. this effect of him running at Flash's speed. Mm -hmm. You got all the little lightning crisscrossing all over. It's really great. Yeah, it's, it's really so great. Fun. So you can get this in a spray for, of course, eight dollars. You can also get it in the wax and the candle, which I forgot to tell you is actually fourteen dollars because of it's eight ounces. But I, I actually whipped this open to smell it. Now, what's really funny about this? Okay, I'm not gonna lie. There, you're thinking strawberry milkshake, right? It actually smells a, with a little bit of floral, which. I don't know where that's coming from. I think it's actually the fusion of the strawberry and the cherry cola. Yeah, the cherry cola. I think the cola is giving it a slight floral scent, but not in a floral scent where you're like, oh no, it's flowers. It's more of like a, yeah, it's more of like if you put Coke together with your milkshake. That's what it's, it does smell like that. It's yeah. just kind of a surprising scent Which, combination. Which, you know, the flash would need because he's got such a high metabolism. He needs that caffeine. But honestly, like, again, I, we basically picked all the candle scents to be the ones that we knew people would gravitate towards more. Our current community, people like fruity and bakery the most. So that's basically what we choose when it comes to wax because we know they're going to buy it. <laughs> but yeah, this is great. I love, I love this candle also going to steal. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> our second creative set for this collection is uh, from our friend Sarah Lynn. She was a rep for us very briefly and then she had some other things happen in her life but she did put this scent in and I was like this is so unique. Uh -huh. I, we just need to. So it's called Ivy Waiting For You. It's based on Poison Ivy but it's the steampunk version of Poison Ivy. And well, Poison Ivy did appear in Gotham by Gaslight, which is the kind of steampunky version of the Batman mythos. 
she was kind of more of a, a bizarre dancer, so she didn't really have enough steampunk to her. But instead, we designed our own steampunk poison ivy based off of a whole bunch of different sources. Yeah. And we decided we were going to have Roxy showing up as that. And she is going to be smelling like black cherry, citrus, and ivy. Also so good. And it's really interesting that it's got that fruit scent, but a floral is immediately right underneath it. But the and cherry just gives it this really exactly. nice full scent that's it's not floral. It's a complete floral. scent. It's, mm. it's, not a, it's not a, well, we're going to have this note and this note. It's, yeah. it's one note. So it keeps it from being bad for those who don't like floral. Mm. I definitely think this is the one I'm going to put on my desk at work. And it is yeah. definitely a feminine scent. Yes. Which is good. Yes. I, I would wear this too, I think. Mm. This one is uh, in the spray and the car scent as well. Tell us about the design because I was so excited about okay. this design. So I, I just spent a long time kind of looking up cosplays of a steampunk poison ivy and I kind of looked at way different people did things and then I also went to what's called the New 52. DC always keeps on restarting their entire lineup every single time and they come out with new designs. So what you what you see in Roxy's outfit here is the placement of the ivy that is part of her skirt and part of the um, bodice that is actually the same placement of the ivy on her outfit in the New 52 but you have all these different colors. You've got little trinkets that make it steampunk mm. all over the place. And I just love, she's not only got the rose that you would expect from Poison Ivy, but this big wooden gear right behind that. Mm. I, it's really, I thought it was just so much fun. Yes, it is. So thank you so much for putting this in. Yes. I actually really this love it. This is so much fun. Yes. I know some of you are probably wondering what happened to Batman or... Superman or whatever. Well, honestly, uh, everyone has that. Yeah. We wanted to do something different. Maybe in the future. I don't know. But yeah. that's what we're starting with. We have two scents that we are bringing out for a very specific reason. They're technically part of our animation collection, which is in January that it comes out. But in because it's February and because we are doing a con next month that has some themes that people are really excited about there, we decided to make these two scents for that con and put them out in this month. So they are, like I said, they are both part of the animation collection. So again, with the DC collection and with these two and the Disney collection, you can only get them this month. You have to wait for it to come back around again. We aren't really sure when DC is going to come back around yet. We haven't decided, but animation obviously will be in January. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. So the first one is a scent that is made by my friend Naomi, and she thought because the con we're going to next month, they have like a unicorn theme, and so we were trying to figure out like what could we do that was kind of unicorn themed. And she came up with a really good idea uh, to theme something off of Despicable Me. I work at Universal and Minions are a very big part of the culture yeah. at Universal. So we we thought, well, this is great because we don't have really anything. I mean, we have Universal stuff, you know, we've got like Harry Potter and whatnot, but we don't really have something that is intrinsically animated Universal at all. Yeah. So we thought this was a really great idea to do. And we call it it's so fluffy well how could we not because yeah. she's got a unicorn anyway the scent notes are apple hazelnuts and rainbows this is a very happy kitty scent it really it really is it, it, is, it is the apples come out very strongly the hazelnuts do an interesting little tweak to that i think the hazelnuts give it an earthiness mm. to it um, where the apples are just this bright a little bit acidic smell to it then you have this earthy hazelnut smell that's right underneath it dot 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 we're gonna make a joke so we did not actually find a way to encapsulate a rainbow no. but it's you're gonna smell a rainbow in your head <laughs> with your mind although i think maybe one of the scent blends we used was rainbows yes <laughs> so technically yes there are rainbows in here but yeah not really what a rainbow smells like yeah. no i feel like a rainbow smells like rain that's just me. Anyway, tell us about the art. And so here we have, and I, I have a difficult time remembering some of the characters' names if I haven't watched the movie in a while, but this is one of the three girls that grew takes under his wing mm -hmm. um, and, and starts to raise us his daughters. And this is the youngest one being portrayed by Jelly, and she's also the one that 
coined the phrase, it's so fluffy, while picking up a stuffed unicorn. Hey, she's got a stuffed unicorn! And that's actually a spark chaser stuffed in a suit. Um, the suit is, like, actually fluffier than he is, so it, it's kind of a puffy version of him. Mm -hmm. um, and he's got an extra horn. Uh, coming off of his head. I just think it's really cute and I like how Jelly is kind of doing the little tweak of her head there. Yeah. It's it's just a very childish and cute I have my unicorn! <laughs> yes. Yes it's it is. It's so great. Our next scent and last scent for this month is one that I know absolutely nothing about and I tried to do a little bit of research about it and I still don't get it. It's not really my thing so I'm gonna have Marshall kind of take the lead on it once we get to that point. But it is a scent called Your Next Line Is, and the scent notes are wine, almond, and cherry. Tell me about the scent. Okay, so one of the most long-running shows uh, from anime is one called JoJo's Bizarre Adventure. It has sparked so many memes over the internet for so long, but just about every time we go to a convention, somebody asks for it. And JoJo's Bizarre Adventure features a, a family named Joestar, and the progressive line of them as they go through history facing bizarre adventures. This particular scent is based off of the most long-running character of Joseph Joestar, who is an Englishman. He prefers his, his wine, and he fights a lot of things with his... If I try to get into this and actually explain it, our heads are going to spin Just right off. But It's from the show. Go watch it if go you can. Go watch it. <laughs> he is fighting against a guy. Joseph goes and psychs him out by going, your next line is... He tricks him into thinking that he himself is psychic mm. and just psychs his, his head out. Right. And what we have here is Zane as Joseph Joestar, and he's doing a really weird pose. Right? And this is something that you see a lot in JoJo's Bizarre Adventures. Very muscular, muscular men in strange outfits getting really close to each other in strange poses. You know what's really funny is I just watched that show uh, Next in Fashion on Netflix and somebody actually created an outfit very similar to this for swimming. I know, it's the top. Um, I just think that's funny. Something yeah. I can relate to. Anyway, so yes, that I think, actually, I really like the pose. I think it's very like, here I am, you know? Yeah. Um, come and get it. <laughs> sure. Um, you can get this in a spray, a candle, and the wax this month. I just want to smell it one more time. Let's take some smells. And you again, it's good. get the wine scent to it. But, but the, the almonds and cherries yeah. kind of... It's, mellow it out. Yeah, exactly. It makes me feel a lot of a mind needs books when we have in the fall because we're having you know books in September, right? So a mind needs books because it's based on Game of Thrones is very similar to this one. Except that a mind needs books has a lot more of a chocolate scent to it, where this one takes it and replaces it with almond and cherry, mm -hmm. and those two kind of have a similar scent to each other, mm -hmm. but. The almond has an earthiness to it, and the cherry has a brightness to it. So they kind of play in different directions around the wine. So that is all for February. March, we have a more additions to our collection, which is video games. If you're interested in seeing what comes out every month, you can check in our Facebook group in the files section. We have the entire calendar there so you can see what collections are available, what time of year, so you can plan ahead or buy what you need to when you need to. Also, if you are following us on Instagram, you're going to notice that we do have some videos on there, some different things that were happening. We're trying to make this be more of a geeky community rather than just we're all about our scent. So if you're in the Facebook group, you're going to see that we're going to have a lot more games and things that have to do with things that we're interested in. Things like new things on Netflix, like The Witcher and etc. <laughs> so I was surprised like by how much I liked that. Right? I was kind of too. So those kind of things are going to be happening on our Instagram and the Facebook group. So if you're interested in being a part of the community that talks about things that we are so excited about, books, movies, whatever, go in there. It can be makeup too. Like I'm not, I'm not opposed to having makeup and beauty in there if that's what you're interested in. That's where we started. That's exactly. So go over there, check that out and become part of our community. We, really like to see you there and you know subscribe here so that you can get all of our different reviews that we're doing books 
books has been a lot lately and we're trying to get a little bit more to travel both here and on instagram so make sure you check us there and thank you thank you for watching thank this you. video but until next time stay zany bye bye